have an idea. All right, so um, for the article review that's due for, for this week, um, i share my screen so you can see what I'm seeing. So what you're gonna be doing for your article review is researching, you're gonna look up an article that's going to uh, be of interest to you. Um, try and stick around the topics we're dealing with or we have dealt with up until this point, just so you have a pretty good concept of how to tie everything that you learn from the lessons and the lectures and the book into what, uh, what, what topic of interest you're doing. If you need to step outside of that and do something that's a little uh, ahead, like right now, uh, we've got memory and cognition ahead of us. Um, but if you wanna do something in that realm, that's perfectly fine as well. So um, I, I have, I don't have, uh, just for, the interest of saving time. I don't have a whole lot of time to really go through and show you how to do research um, articles or, or view those or pick those out. However, there are a lot of good videos. So if you go under content, the tab content, and then course content, I have a ton of links here um, that will help you uh, to, you know, for example, avoid plagiarism, writing an abstract. We're not going to be writing an abstract for anything in this course. So don't worry too much about that. Um, uh, created an outline in APA format. Again, not doing too much with that. But if you, for example, you wanna search the database, there's a pretty good hack video tutorial on these and uh, hack library database searching. So uh, these two will probably be of interest for you for this assignment. Um, creating a hanging indent. I have a lot of students that sometimes get that uh, incorrect. They'll either have an indent uh, that, that's improper. You, you want to hang it in dent, which looks a little bit differently, um, which I see if I can give you an example here. Go down. So a hanging in dent, if you look at these examples here, uh, uh, look at Rossler and Ulrich and uh, Bellino, for example. Um, so a hanging in dent would be uh, your your first line going all the way to the margin and then everything beyond that is indented okay and that's the format that i'm looking for when i say hanging indent and again if you have any difficulties with that i do have a tutorial that will show you how to do that in uh, microsoft word i'm not sure how it works in in google docs but i would imagine it's pretty similar or you could be able to youtube it okay apa example i just showed you that if you have any questions on how to format your references uh, use Purdue Al. Okay, that uh, that's a great link. So, for example, if you have a video or or something that you want to to use uh, get a citation for, Purdue Al is a great way to do that. Okay, so for this week in this assignment, there's going to be three parts to this. So just be aware of what's due and when. Um, if you go down to discussion, oh, I apologize. No, go down to assessments. Okay. Um, so what we'll have here is our actual article review instructions. So it tells you how to go to hack, find, uh, click on articles and databases, um, you know, just follow these steps and it should be pretty easy for you. I will say, um, be cautious not to bookmark hacks website because if you do that, it may not work. It does require you to log in and it uses your hack credentials to get in. So it's always better to go through the library um, or go through, I think I have a link in here as well to, to get to the library. So use that uh, as a means to get in there because if you bookmark it, it may have, have you do some kind of weird login process that uh, I'm not familiar with anyway. Um, so anyway, um, a good strategy to, to looking up articles is, is look through the abstract. You don't have to read the entire article to see if it's something you might be interested in. If you look up the ad abstract, it's the first thing that comes up when you do these article reviews, and it'll give you a, a pretty good synopsis of uh, what they're trying to do, and, and in most cases, what they've accomplished through their research. So um, use that as a means to get an idea if this is a review, if this is an article you it would indeed want to review. Okay, um, I put this in here, I get a lot of questions about this, the article, uh, so you get to choose your own article. So all I have in here is just the example. You don't have to use this article per se, but use this as an example um, for what your, your APA formatted reference should look like, okay? Um, and then answer these questions. Now, these questions 
Don't answer them like one, two, three, four. Okay. These should, the, the, it should be an essay format. So you can answer this. So for example, you can say from the introduction, I concluded blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, the methods that were used, blah, 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 blah. And then, and then uh, in, it, the results of the study varied or, you know, and then just, so put them in paragraph format. So it looks nice and orderly. Uh, please don't number them. Um, so anyway, that, that's what your paper is go going to look like. And that will be due on uh, February 4th, which I believe is, I believe is Sunday, two, three, four, no, Friday. Okay. So um, let me go down to peer feedback. Okay. Oh, that's incorrect. I apologize. Let me, let me fix this while I'm, I'm in here. Content overview. Make sure I got my dates correct. All right, so by Friday, your article review will be due, okay? Uh, 2D2L. Now by um, Sunday, you're going to click on this link and I'm going to change the date here just so it shows up in your properly in your your calendars. Um, by Sunday, you're going to read one of your other your peers um, reviews okay uh, one, one of their article reviews Let's see end date I don't want that. Um, so read through their article reviews and respond to that, so this is a, like I said it's two part assignment, so you can get. Um, you'll, you'll get 50 point, uh, you'll get 40 points for doing your actual article review, and then you're going to get an, a, an additional 10 points for reviewing one of your classmates. Okay, but you'll do that here under assignments, and it's just a discussion forum. Okay, so, any, go ahead. I have a question. Um, yep. So for the re response that we have to do for our part, um, our a partner, um, is it like a, is there like a word count limit or? Um, it, again, if you follow the directions here, it'll say, um, I should have it in the instructions here, uh, two to four pages, okay? So that- the, no, Not no, for that, for, um, for when you write a review for your, um, your classmates. Uh, Yep. Uh, no, no word count for that. I don't uh, generally put word count, but just fully address what did you like about it? What did you not understand about that? Um, you know, read through it and, and at least provide something. I'm just going to be looking for something more than I like this. Like two okay? sentences. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of just indicate that you did read this, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Maybe you agree or disagree and why. So make sure it's a thorough answer. I'm not going to put a, a uh, word limit on it because I find people will just do that minimum word limit. I'm just looking for thoroughness. So I, I need to know that you read it and that you understood what they're talking about um, and, and provide some kind of feedback on that. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Also, are we allowed to use uh, news articles? <clears throat> news articles? No. And the reason being is because that, that's too much of a variation as far as what could be credible and uh, not credible. Um, well, what if I'm it had something to do with like a study, like a news article that had something pertaining to like a case study that was done? Then, then if you follow that case study, you can do it on that case study and you can reference what they say in that article if you want. Um, but what I'm looking for is that article itself. And the reason being is because we're, we're trying to uh, wrap your minds around looking up stuff scientifically. And the problem with news articles, sometimes, they, and, and the reason why I don't uh, use them or allow them to be used for the news article themselves as your primary source is because they might, uh, we don't know what sources they're pulling from. Uh, and, and unless they do list them and you can trace that back to the actual study, it could just be anything. I'll give you an example. Um, <clears throat> a couple of years ago on the Today Show, I think it was the Today Show, they had talked about, uh, the headline was uh, Men Who Shave Live Longer. And it, it, was, it was just kind of a, a title and um, a news article that was designed to grab your attention. And, and you know, it really did, it got my attention. But I had to actually go back and trace what sources they use to find that shaving leads, uh, tends to lead, or men that shave tend to have um, uh, better jobs, take care of themselves, uh, get, get into relationships. And we know that those things, relationships and self-care 
lead to better health. And we know that better health leads to lower stress and uh, lifelong, they're a little bit longer of a lifespan and so on and so forth. So um, thinking critically has a big component. I'm not gonna say like for Wikipedia, for example, don't ever cite Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a great source. And I, I would encourage you all, if, you, uh, if something comes up, look through Wikipedia to get a sense of what they're talking about. Uh, but don't use that as your primary source. If they say something that gets your attention, for example, shaving and living longer, go into that source and trace that source back and read that source and, and make sure that it's telling you exactly what, it, what the Wikipedia uh, source is telling you to do, okay? Um, so that, that would be a good strategy is use those news reports, use Wikipedia, use other, as long as it traces back to a scientific source, that would be okay. Does that answer your question or did I kind of go off on a tangent? No, it, it does. It does. Um, so basically, like if I do find a news article, basically find like the real case study, like through the databases that we use. Yeah, yeah. Um, or whatever database they, they might have it. It may not be through, uh, we have a pretty good database at Hack, but it's not everything. Um, most psychology ones you're, you're going to find in because we have psych articles uh, in Hack, which is a good, uh, it's a good database. So anything psychological or neurological or behavioral or child development or family therapy or anything is probably going to be in that psych articles. Uh, there are a lot of journals that they pull from on that. So yeah, yeah, as long and the reason why I want, I just want to make sure to that, that y'all understand that um, the, these journal articles, they're reviewed by the scientific community. And that's what you're doing. You're, you're looking at it critically. And it's gone through a rigorous process for them to be able to publish onto those databases. Okay, So that, that's why they're credible um, for the most part. Um, I, I, I haven't seen anything that, that was really, you know, there might have been some lofty ideas in there. But for the most part, they followed the scientific process. They did their research. They verified their, their data. Um, and they put it through the peer review process so that it could be published for your viewing. Okay, so that's kind of how that works and why that's such a credible source. Is that, uh, all right, does that answer your question? Yes, um, yeah, um, this is a quick question. Uh, so all the articles we use are all gonna be like this, right? Is that it? Okay, I-, I uh, Isn't Nikki, there some more? Ha having a hard time hearing you. Can you hear me? Yep, I hear you now. Uh, we, we're, we're going to have like two more article reviews. Is that correct? Yep. You're going to have two and, more. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be assigned just this way, correct? Yep. Uh, exact same thing. And uh, so what I did with this one is I made it a little less points. I think this one's only worth 50 points. The next ones will be worth 75 points. So if you make some uh, major mistakes on this one, uh, you'll get some points deducted, but it won't be nearly as many as it will be on the second and third. So what I'm going to do with this one, once I grade these article reviews, I'm going to give you feedback, let you know um, why, if there are markdowns at all, um, and, and how you can correct them. Um, if uh, a majority of them are APA uh, format issues, okay? So I'll give you some corrections on that. And if you follow those recommendations for the next article review, that's, uh, you, you'll get more points. You'll get your points back uh, for that. Um, uh, or, or I'm sorry, you're not gonna get points back for that, but you'll get a higher score on your, on your next article review. So the first one is a little less threat, just uh, with only being 50 points, I'll give you feedback. And then the next one will be a little bit more higher of a, higher of a uh, point award there, okay? Any other questions? Um, Jacob, oh, it was a direct message. Uh, yeah, article one review was uh, overdue from last year. I just fixed that, so I thank you for that. All right, any other questions before we move on? All right, let me, uh, oops. Stop share. Stop recording.